What up, everybody? Instructor Beats back again here today talking about composing shapes. So let's shape on up and see what our objective is today. Our objective today, today I will be able to compose shapes using other smaller shapes. So last lesson we decomposed shapes. We took a shape, we broke it apart into smaller pieces. Today we're going to be doing the exact opposite. We're going to be taking those smaller pieces and putting them together to make a larger shape. My I do problem says, what are three different ways I can compose a hexagon using the shapes on the right? So we talked a little bit about this yesterday. So if I wanted to compose a hexagon, the first way that I remember from last lesson is by using two trapezoids. And you're going to have to flip one of the trapezoids around and that's okay. And here I have made a hexagon using two trapezoids. That's one way I can compose it. Let's take a look at a different way. So if I take the trapezoid, okay, and again I use it for half, and again this is from last lesson, I can take my square and put it right here in the middle, and then if I take my triangles, and again sometimes you have to manipulate them, you have to move them, you have to uh, flip them around, and I move that over oh, right here, okay, that's one part, and I need this part right here, so here again I'm going to have this, and if I flip it and spin it around, I can put it right there, and again I've composed a hexagon using a trapezoid, a rectangle, and two triangles. If we had one other way, if I know that I can make half of it with two triangles and a rectangle, then what I'm thinking is, well, I can make the other half using the same thing. So if I take my rectangles and I use it for half, all right, there we go, and then I take my triangles and I complete my parts of, there you go, and I flip it and put it right there and then I have one more and I need to flip it and then spin it. So let me flip it. Then I need to spin it around and I can put it right there and then I have composed a hexagon using two rectangles and four triangles. Okay, so those were three different ways I could compose a hexagon. Let's take a look at a we do problem and how you might see a question like this. So my question right here says what five-sided polygon can I compose using the trapezoid and the triangle on the right. So they're giving me the shapes I'm going to use. I'm gonna highlight five-sided polygon because I know that that's another way of saying pentagon. So I want to make a pentagon using my trapezoid and my triangle. So the thing again to remember is that you might have to flip it around. So I'm gonna put it together first like this and see, oh, I made a house, not a pentagon. Um, I know, okay, maybe what if I flip this trapezoid around, okay, and I had to manipulate it. Let's see if I put the triangle back on there. And oh, hey, look, I just made a pentagon using a triangle and a hexagon, okay? So again, you can decompose and compose shapes using other shapes. We decomposed last lesson. Today we're building, we are composing, we're putting things together. So here's our U-Try problem, okay? It says using right triangles make a quadrilateral that has four right angles and the opposite sides will never meet even if they keep going. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and go ahead and try this problem. Now this is on your notes, okay? If you don't have your notes, you can check in the description of the video. If you do have a way to cut out two right triangles, which is a triangle with a uh, square corner, I would cut them out because it's easier to manipulate paper and try to put things together than drawing because then you got to keep drawing. If you don't, that's okay. You can just try drawing it out on your notes, but it is a little bit easier if you can somehow cut out or rip two right triangles that you can move around on your table or your desk. So hopefully you just push pause and now you're checking your work. The first thing you should have done is to highlight the attributes that they wanted your shape to have, okay? So they're combining your attribute knowledge from previous lessons with your composing knowledge of what you're doing today. So we have four square angles, and then we have the four, or we have the opposite sides will never meet even if they keep going. So I know these two attributes are attributes of a rectangle or a square, which means I need to take my right triangles and make a rectangle or a square. So what you should have done here, okay, because you, I'm sure you manipulated it, you would have had to take your second right triangle here, and if you flip it around, and put it together like this, you're going to make a rectangle, okay? Because remember that key thought we talked about last lesson that's gonna come out later in your math life. If you take a rectangle and split it into half, it, it makes two right triangles. And again, a right triangle is a triangle that has a square corner, okay? So the quadrilateral that we made was a rectangle. 
Thank you so much for checking out this lesson. Hopefully it goes along well with the decomposing lesson. They kind of work together, but I thought it'd be easier to break it apart into two smaller lessons. As always, if you have any questions, you can email us or leave a comment on the video. Please like and subscribe if you have not done so already. We appreciate you. Thank you for taking your time to watch Instruct the Beats. Instruct the Beats, out.